Hello, and welcome to SpaceClaim's User Interface Video Session. I'll be showing you the welcome screen, help file, ribbon bar, SpaceClaim options, and the panels next to the design window. When you first open SpaceClaim, you'll be greeted with the welcome screen. We've bundled together some helpful links for getting started in SpaceClaim. One of these links is the quick reference card, which can help answer some of your initial how do I questions and learn space claims terminology. You can also access more tutorials, product videos, or our online model library. Now if at any time you have a question about space claim or want to access the space claim help file, you can click the question mark in the upper right or press F1 just like in Microsoft Office. Space claim help has a contents tab and is organized into groups. So if you are just getting started, you can expand that group, get more tutorials, or some info on the fundamental features of space claim, like pulling. Here you can get detailed instructions, info on the pull options, and some examples of using the pull tool. Space claim help also has an index, so if you want to look up space claims keyboard shortcuts, just start typing that in, and the index scrolls down to that letter. Double click the entry, and you can right click and print or copy and paste them into a document. Space Claim Help also has a very useful search feature. So let's say you want to learn more about the pull tool, type in pull, and we'll get the main polling page, but we'll also get a page on pull with sheet metal to create slots, extrude an edge, or even sweep. And of course, there is a favorites tab where you can store your commonly viewed topics but there's an even better way to view the help file you need. In space claim, the help is context sensitive, which means if I hover over a tool, it first displays a tooltip which gives me the tool's name, keyboard shortcut in parentheses, and a quick tip on using the tool. But if I press F1 while the tooltip is shown, the help file opens with the page pertaining to that tool. Now let's talk about space claim's ribbon toolbar which imitates the intuitive nature of Microsoft Office. Across the top, we have different tabs, which organize space claim tools by application. Within each tab, we have different groups of tools organized by function. The Design tab is where we do the majority of our creation and modification. With the Sketch group, we can create and modify sketch curves in 2D and 3D. The Edit and Intersect groups contain the four main tools in SpaceClaim, Pull, Move, Fill, and Combine. We can also insert files like imported assemblies, images and videos, or even cylinders. The Design tab also has an assembly group for positioning components. The Detail tab allows us to add 3D dimensions and notes, and set up a drawing sheet in the Engineering Notebook. The Display tab controls all the visualization settings like colors, face and edge display, grid settings, and some show options. With the Measure tab, we can determine mass, find the distance between objects, or display surface quality. The Repair tab is great for repairing imported models with many surfaces that need to be stitched together, or missing faces and gaps that need to be found and filled in. The Prepare tab is essential for simplifying a part for improved analysis meshing, concept iterations, or tool and fixture development. We have a Volume Extract and Enclosure tool to create solids from the voids inside or the space surrounding the part. These solids are essential for fluid analysis or tooling and fixture design. We have an Improved Sheet Metal tab where we can create a sheet metal part from scratch or convert an existing part to sheet metal. In the upper left is where you'll find the application menu. Here we can create, open, save and print documents and also enter the space claim options. First we have popular options. Here you can turn on a status message in the design window and set the tool guide and grid guide locations. Detailing allows you to customize drawing sheets, and with units we can change from imperial to metric. The navigation tab lets us change how the mouse spins, 
pans and zooms either individually or as a group. Next to the application menu we have a quick access toolbar that you can add commonly used commands to. And finally we have the panels on the left. The structure panel contains all of your objects and has tabs across the bottom to work with layers, help select geometry, create useful groups, and manage views. There are also dedicated options and properties panels that can be dragged and dropped all around the screen and you can always return these to their default locations by going to space claim options and in the appearance section click reset docking layout. So I hope you have learned about the welcome screen, space claim help, the ribbon bar user interface, space claim options, and the structure panel. Thank you for watching this session on the space claim user interface.